I'm going to make a virtual machine highly available using the Cluster Server Manager, just as we can do now in Windows Server 2008. I simply go to Services and Applications, add a service or application, and the one I want is a virtual machine here. Cluster Manager then goes and finds any candidate virtual machines, and of course, here's one I prepared earlier. That's all I have to do. That's pretty painless, and now it's completed. I can then go and start this virtual machine by selecting Start All Virtual Machines, even though there's only one. And now we can see it starting up on the Wallace node. Now it's online, I can connect to it. Now this virtual machine is actually running Hyper-V Server, which might seem a little odd, but what it does give me is a simple UI, which makes it easy for me to do the little bit of management I want to do. You can see this menu here, and I just want to select option 3, Network Settings. And that lets me find out the IP address of the virtual machine, 10.10.10.35. And now I know that, I can use the rather more elegant remote desktop connection to get into it. And I've already got the connection prepared, as you can see. Now what I want to do to show you live migration is to set up a workload on this machine, which we can leave running while we move the virtual machine from one node on the cluster, Wallace, to the other one, Gromit. So I'm just going to dive into the Windows System32 directory. And just copy every file in turn to null. And leave that running. Now I'm going to flip back to the remote desktop where I'm managing the virtual machines. And from here you can see we've got the quick migration option. And we've also underneath it got the live migration option. And I'm going to use that to move this virtual machine from the Wallace node to the Gromit node. I can now see it starting to copy across. But, more importantly, while that's happening, the machine is still up, and it's still carrying out the copy command I issued earlier, while the pages in memory are being copied from one node to the other. That will gradually climb, without interfering with the running of the virtual machine. Finally, there'll be a short skip as the final piece is copied across, right there, and now the machine has moved across onto that Gromit node, without any interruption of the virtual machine. So Hyper-V is just as easy to use and maintain as before, but has now got this extra feature built in to move workloads from one node to the other for planned maintenance.